All right, I've been wanting to like have a reunion. Why are you talking in that accent? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, like, I think we should get back together and, like, do some tours. We've never toured anywhere. Shh, shh, your name's Noel. Oh, yeah. Right. Anyway, enough of that. All I've heard about is Oasis. All yesterday at work, my, uh, my work colleague is very much... She's been talking about Oasis getting back together for literally six months. So naturally yesterday she was in her element. So, I mean, nice day at work. It's always nice to have a pleasant day at work. I have been working... What, what are we at? It is Tuesday now, isn't it? God. Tuesday, the 27th of August. So, I probably sound a bit rough. Um, let's move that slightly. Uh, probably sound a bit rough because I've had a cold. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't make any arrangements to do anything other than work. I was planning on going to at least one of the days of Pride, which would have been nice. But then as it worked out, I was literally working every day over the weekend. I now have three days off. Um, so I'm back at work Friday, Saturday. So, yeah, I am really tired. So it's been... It looks, from looking at the calendar there, it just looks like a horrendous month that I've had. So, Thursday the 15th I was working, then Friday, I had the Saturday off, then I worked Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I had Thursday and Friday off, so Thursday I woke up and I was so ill. Um, but I, sort of, I carried on with things and I tried to do some stuff here. Then Thursday I literally must have, I stayed in bed most of the morning drank loads of juice, took loads of pills and the rest of it and tried to sort myself out. I was very ill on Saturday, but I went into work. Um, and then I've pretty much been okay. Uh, but I do sound a bit congested. But it was th Thursday, Friday, Saturday and some of Sunday. It was just constant nose blowing. <laughs> it, was, it was that sort of thing. It's not sore throat. It was just constant nose blowing. So, you know, that hasn't been fantastic. I was feeling crap on Saturday, but I did actually do a post run on my walk to work on Saturday. So I walked to work and then my husband picked me up. It's just, it's made for a bit of a lousy weekend really, because it would have been nice. I'm just looking at things that I've missed that I should have declared on my listing for this. I've declared that it's marked, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> so I have three days. I still have loads of Lego here, so that needs to be dealt with. Um, but I don't know. I think sometimes you need to take a bit of stock because I mean, I think that's it. You know, I've had a cold and let's face it. I had a, I had a stretch there where I worked six days out of seven. Um, and then I've only had two days off, of which I was ill, and then I've worked the entire bank holiday weekend. So I probably need to do very little. So it's just as well that I've got loads of Lego sets to build here. So, But I do need to go and do some shopping tomorrow. And I would like to slide into the charity shop next to it. Um, so I'll probably do that. I'm, sort of t I'm, tempted to, I'm tempted to do it today because I don't think I'm really going to get that much done today. But then do I really want to be in a charity shop? And I just, I know that they've probably got the same problems that our shop has got in that you don't have volunteers over the weekend. You don't have much being hung. Um, we're not yet, we've not yet got the trickle through from all the riots um, because of the community payback <laughs> hours that people come and do. We've not had that trickle through yet. <laughs> However, talking about yobs, <laughs> Oasis. So, because my colleague was bouncing off the wall, it's like I, I, I read that announcement, this sort of like hinting announcement, and I was like, well, what if they just like come on on Tuesday morning and say, yeah, we've decided that we're going to go to Mam's for uh, Christmas dinner this year? <laughs> 
but she was like she's like no no it's definitely happening it's definitely happening um so there you go so halfway through the work day yesterday i thought god i really must go on my ebay and i must put the price up on this um and literally i opened my ebay app and this is this is sold <laughs> so so there we go so i paid two quid for this I paid two quid for this and I did I do this I, I put this I saw this like some months back and I put this aside and my colleague who was bouncing off the walls yesterday I'd saved it for her and I, I was like there's an Oasis t-shirt here and I said well it does look really ropey because I'd, I'd stick this one was in a haul but it is genuine um and I'd I'd showed it to her and she says no I don't want it so I was like well I'll buy it um and around that time I think somebody had got 50 um, but I put mine on for 40 so naturally it's like consoled for 40 I was going to shunt it up to the 50 mark um, but there you go so I mean 40 for that for two quid you cannot complain um, and now I know that my mission is to clear this Lego and that will be my mission um, I've literally well I've had one of those messages saying check your delivery item has been delivered um, and I was like what? So I've had, this is, that's my husband's, because he said that he was expecting Hermes. I've had this. Now this is really weird, because I bought this on Sunday. So that says a lot about Hermes, doesn't it? And why Hermes is probably worth doing an early drop off. So yeah, this should have some, I, I looked at it and it's got some of those like flexible cables, which are always the thing which are mix, missing. So I purchased that on Sunday so the fact that it survived here today I'm taken aback with the fact that it was just thrown in the corridor downstairs where I don't actually live that annoys me but there you go right so further sales Lego I've sold that I have sold this I have, I have also barely listed um, the only things that I think I did list I think I may have mustered a few listings late on Friday. Yes, it was late on Friday because this was one of them. So this, I listed Friday. It sold Saturday. Um, this is the police station. So that's, well, that's one of the police stations. I haven't listed everything else. It's all sort of sat there. I've had a big shunt around. I've got various things here. Annoyingly, I've, because I've been sorting at the weekend as well, I have now got a dearth of stuff stuff that was just too nice to put in the rag bag um and but it's got pit stains i've also got a pair of shoes over there which well they're dot martins and they should be in a hundred pound pair of shoes no let's say 60 people just because people have got it advertised that does not mean that that's what it's worth um yeah <laughs> So the, yeah so I do have a lot of stupid things to do so I may well be cleaning the shoes today this sold for 25 I have my other Legos my other police station up for 25 um, I think maybe I should have got 30 for that it's just because I haven't got instructions with it I just sort of like I devalue it for that reason um, so maybe I could have got more I've also listed this um, this has been like constantly in my way so I've photographed this it's just got a selection of Lego in there um, more or less it's that inventory that's on there I felt like there was instructions that were supposed to be with it but I don't know if there are um, so what did, what did I sell that for? I had it on for 20. Somebody offered me 15. It, it, was, it would be nice to get that out of the way. Um, and that's going to be sent in that. Wow. I'm hoping that this box is appropriate for the Lego set. They're either too big or too small, these eBay branded boxes. There's just, I just wish that they would get it right. It's like with 
they're um, bubble mailers. They don't have any bubble mailers which fit A4 in. I just think, what is the point in this? I've just, I'm not going to, I've kind of worked out that it's not in my interest to downgrade my store. Mind you, all of this is going in the U in the UK, not to the US. Um, God, I tell you, I was so... When was it? One of the days that I was working last week, and I was, like, doing my... Po cause, because I was on... The, no, that was it, because I was on an 11... 11am 11 shift on the Wednesday. Um, and I know, that I, I know that I did too much, which I was... Probably half the reason why I woke up on Thursday shattered and <laughs> ill is that I got up at seven and I hoovered and mopped like a crazy bastard. <laughs> and I literally cleaned the whole house and then I had to do my parcels. Um, and this, I bought an ink cartridge, a genuine ink cartridge from somebody on eBay. And I really must work out because I've got three in there. One of which I got from Charity Shop, one which I got from Asda. And then this one which I've bought from this person. So I must go on the last person who I bought an ink cartridge from and make sure that I flag them and don't buy from them again because they are genuine ink cartridges but they're refilled and this one, every you print a page and then the next page is blank. Um, so it's totally exasperating, really, really annoying. And I remember I was like in a rush to leave and try and do everything and I had some problem with something because I had something going to Jersey uh, so I couldn't get that I, I was trying to get that post printed off I know because I had like eight parcels or something I, I, it's been an okay week let me tell you um yeah most days have been like at least three two or three parcels if not like eight it was three parcels that I sent on Saturday um yeah and so this ink cartridge i sort of i had to fiddle ass around with the, with the jersey one because they ebay had let them pay for um tracks 20 tracks 48 but that doesn't exist in jersey so that annoyed me so that, and then i was like well i'm gonna have to give them a tracked service so i've got to pay like extra now for it um, so I did, I, I was like faffing around with that and this ink cartridge was just buggering me around and then literally I was all ready to, because I'd been very motivated, obviously I'd like cleaned and the rest of it and I was dead organised and I'd mopped and everything was nice and clean, I'd done a load of, I'd done a load of laundry and I'd, um, what, done the washing up and I was, you know, and got myself ready for work <laughs> and I was all ready to go and then I'd like sold another item and I was like, God, let's just put this in the post. Let's get this to get, get this in the post. So I like and dragged these leggings out and put them in the post. Um, and then the ink cartridge did the thing again, and I have to keep taking it out and rubbing it, you know. And it's just everything was just so annoying. And it's going to do it again this morning because I'm like loathed to get rid of it. But of course, because I I always buy my ink cartridges when I get the warning that it's low, and then they sort of sit in the drawer. It was donkeys years ago when I bought from this person, so I can't, like, rant and rave at them. But I still might drop them a line saying, your ink cartridge is a shit, mate. <laughs> right? Anyway, this is... A, I, I'm not focused in any way. Not that I'm ever focused, but I'm so tired. I really do need to, like, take a chill pill for a little bit. Right, so we've got an All Saints shirt. What's this gone for? I think 15, I mean, I think everything looks, you know, like button down oas oasis look is in, I think I've even got pretty green here. I've got another pretty green, which is a lot more Liam Gallagher than, um, than this one. So that's gone for, I think only 11 for this, um, but yeah, pretty green. So get your pretty green on, get your Oasis t-shirts on. Yeah, the thing that I was like talking about like literally like 10 minutes ago, I have got somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> I know I've because I was buying some CDs and it was like a multi-buy and I know that I've picked up some Oasis CDs, singles, like cigarettes and alcohol or something. There's somewhere and I think I've got to live forever. 
it's somewhere around here so you need to now find them oh god it's like you're gonna strike now while the tickets are on sale and everybody's like blah, 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 about it and then it'll sort of like cool off a bit and then it'll be like next july when the tour starts um they're probably just jealous aren't they they're probably just jealous of all the success and the, the tour for um Taylor Swift had to be like, right, my bank balance isn't looking too smart. Let's get on with it. Uh, right. Uh, a Man United top. It's, yeah. Somebody bought this and then they said it was fake because it was made in Thailand, but most of them are made in Thailand, so I really don't know what they're talking about. It, it's just heavily worn. This is a lot of menswear here. That was 9 99 for that because this is this is really worn so i've i've only i only put that on for 9.99 it was probably even 8.99 or 7.99 that i sold it for because i think it's a mistake uh this is our cat like pigment dyed jumper that's what they call this when it sort of like looks washed out um yeah so just our cat that was 20 this is my tie-dye thing I did somebody sent me an offer of 15 so I, I took that because I just thought oh I don't even know what the true value of this is but it was a bleach marked top so that's fine by me that's got that gone and then two bits of women wear very strange um jewels blouse I want to say 14 for that and then this i think at one point i had this up at the 30 mark which is probably a bit overzealous uh but this is sold for 20 and that is ingenue so yeah that's everything that's the best thing oasis 100 percent the best thing if you've got anything oasis put it on now um I mean, even if you've got like Christmas jumpers that say Noel, Noel on them, just say, yeah, it's a Noel's jumper. <laughs> Obviously, don't do that. <laughs> I, I've had a, I had a listing removed because I put the word, I put that it was Barbie pink on it, and apparently, you know, that's a criminal offence. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't don't do that. Um, yeah, so I need to, I need to get all this chucked in the post so for the record i am not an oasis fan i know i live in manchester but i was always a blur fan i was born in lincolnshire i grew up in lincolnshire i went to school with damon orban's cousins damon orban was constantly <laughs> knocking around the the town that i went to school in because of you know it was the school that I so i think it's on his on Damon Albarn's mother's side. Her surname is Dring, and it was James Dring who was at my school because, yeah, he was in a band. <laughs> he was younger than me as well, but I think that's around the time of the country house going to number one because they won that battle. Um, I think the country house was near me because everybody had very big houses i mean i was just nicely big but a two up two down compared to everybody else's house so yeah um that's that's probably why blur was always played slightly more where i grew up <laughs> so there we go uh oh, right i need to I need to pack this up and sort of like pull myself together and try and do some some things like the cleaning things because I'd like to do a haul video that's you know in the next two days I'd like to have this place clean and I'd like to have the lego out of the way so that I can get on with doing some um photos of clothes because they're going to start backing up but most of it is repairing and stain removal so it's you know and cleaning so it's not the best but i need to crack on with it otherwise it's just going to be mound mound up and then you know i'll tidy the lego and then there'll be a clothing situation created um 
yeah because i've been working and because i've been ill i have not been on top of my listings i have done a end and relist of men's t-shirts this week which i feel that maybe that one went in with it or maybe that one has only i don't know how long that was listed for before it sold i mean i could look into it i don't think it's that much so they did um they did f three nights at Heaton Park there. And then just Cardiff and Edinburgh and Dublin. Oh no, Sunderland. So they didn't even hit London. So that would have been their last one, would it not? I mean, I don't know. This, I just, I know nothing about. I've never seen Oasis. I always felt that they were just asking too much for how much because I was used to go into like normal price gigs I've seen Blur a number of times because they were I think I paid £15 at most to see Blur and I thought no, £15 was, was what I regarded as very expensive in the 90s um, and I think the last place I saw them was at a whole ice arena but I always I, I had friends who went to see Oasis and they went down to the Nebworth thing um, and I remember them saying yeah there was just literally the urinal was just a trough and it was overflowing with piss and all the piss was running out of the stalls into the crowd area and and i know that they paid crazy money to go um yeah but there you go and I, I remember on my when i was like 17 going on 18 somebody who'd like paid 80 quid to go and see Michael Jackson so that would have been 1997 98 97 97 it would have been you know and I was like god that's a lot of money to pay <laughs> obviously you know in hindsight who cares um anyway that's me done I'll stop rattling on about this I have also sold one record on my personal account so my personal account i barely list i only ever so they i, I don't sell much on there so i only get the 70 percent offer and i just refresh things on the 70 percent offer the only thing i've done on my business account this week listings wise is a little bit of lego which admittedly two of it is sold straight away um and then the relists so I don't know where I am. I, it's marked on my calendar. I just, I don't know where I, I don't know where I am with that. I don't even know what my shifts are next week because it's just been very hectic. So we will see. We will see where we are. I, I just, I think I need to do September sort out and like sort my life out <laughs> because it's so chaotic here. Before I know it, it's going to be Christmas and and we're still living in this tip that we call an apartment anyway that's my um monday morning moan on a tuesday um very tired probably should go back to bed but i won't sleep oh they did do london oh just don't listen to me it's because they they seem to have like jumped about and gone abroad no, 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 no. anyway let's stop talking about that right so my message of the day is list your Oasis stuff. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again soon. Soon. And here are the brothers. You're nothing but a football hooligan. What? <sighs> Bosh. <laughs> right. Goodbye from me and goodbye from the brothers. See you soon.